This is how love is made complete among us so that we may have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world, we are like Jesus. In this world, we are like Jesus. Somebody should give their hearty hear, hear. And somebody should say their amen. You see, Scripture, I'll read it again, and it's up to you how you respond. Scripture teaches us That just as Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God, we as born-again believers are the image of the ascended Christ. Paul wrote in Colossians 2, 9 through 10. This is something we got to take our time with as well. For in Christ all the fullness of the deity dwells in bodily form, and in Christ you have been brought to fullness. Think about that. Did Christ have the fullness of God in him, yes or no? Then do you have the fullness of Christ in you, yes or no? Now, does that make us divine in our attributes as Christ? No. It makes us able to share in the moral attribute of his divinity. When Peter said here that we share in the divine nature or that we participate in it, he is not saying that we become all-knowing, all-powerful, and everywhere at the same time. What he is saying is that we participate with the spiritual character of who God is. When Jesus said, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect, and later on uh, Peter said, be holy for I am holy, speaking what God said in Deuteronomy, what it is saying is this passage right here, it's explaining it to us, that as God was in Christ, Christ is in us. As the fullness of deity was in Jesus, the fullness of Jesus is in me. That means I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That means greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Just as the flesh of Jesus at the incarnation and revealed at the resurrection was filled to the full measure of God, believers have been given the fullness of Christ via the Holy Spirit at new birth. See, do you believe that? Do you take that in as a truth and say, okay, I'm not arguing with that. I'll believe that. Listen to Paul again in Ephesians 3:17 and onward that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. That should get you excited this morning. Therefore there is no doubt that we as Christians have the full measure of God living in us. Why? Because we have Jesus. For what purpose? That we may reflect the image of Jesus everywhere we go. 